Request from viewer is, what do you think will happen next? You can also comment your opinion. Thank you to all the subscribers of our coin series. Who came to our channel coin series? You will always be info with the latest coin series news. Option 1, will there be a settlement of XRP and XRP? Option 2, or XRP will win. Option 3, or SEC will win. Please your return is much appreciated by the coin series channel. The XRP community has said that XRP has a history of higher pricing, and with its current price of 49.7 cents, it has broken below 50 cents. No, I don't think everyone is going ballistic, but you share it on Facebook. Additionally, some individuals may have a political meltdown when prices decline. Plus, they're rather noisy. You could have seen this if you're active on the axis of social media platforms, which is where the XRP community is virtually located. So, why is it being brought up somewhat by everyone? An article from Cointelegraph titled Bitcoin Price Stumbles After Fed Dashes, Hopes for Rate Cuts in March, makes a very valid point. Two items, thus, it would seem that the market finds the idea of rate cuts to be rather endearing and comical. The good news is that this is not what we expected based on the data or historical trends. Just so we're clear, there isn't. However, think about the last three Fed cutbacks. Quite disappointing, hasn't it? Despite the fact that it has become reactive, data remains data. Consequently, Bitcoin's value declined. That's why the value of XRP dropped. But allow me to explain more. I should start by mentioning that my family has never been financially well off. I want you to know that my financial advice is not gospel. Furthermore, you should not rely on my written or spoken words while making any financial choices. Creating videos on YouTube about cryptocurrency is something I like doing for fun, I'm simply an enthusiast. Okay, so Bitcoins have dropped 1.86%. A decline of 2.81% has occurred in the value of XRP. Even if XRP underperformed the market as a whole yesterday, it's hardly the worst performing cryptocurrency out there. XRP's visibility yesterday was hilarious, wasn't it? A few of market segments are doing far worse than Solana, which is down 6.43%. XRP is among these segments. The cryptocurrency known as Ether. Avalanche is down 6.85% and the home is falling 4.59% with just a 6.98% change. Certainly, I will not object to it. 6.99% a decline of 8.52% has been recorded in the arbitrage market. You may check out the other currencies that are performing worse by going down there. Future Optimism So, P equals 7.54%. Celeste, you are 9.47% less than before. Leaving aside all of the others. Behold the network once again, behold yet another one. Can anyone tell me what 9.71% is? Sorry, I'm confused. The problem is that there are many of them, and a few of them, like XRP, will definitely be in the 2% to 3% region. Still, a lot of currencies are doing poorly. If you possess a significant position that is essential to us, you are more likely to experience tension as it falls. This is true regardless of the object you are holding. By the way, I get it entirely. But this doesn't mean XRP is unique in any way. The market is down today. Here we can see the Bitcoin 24-hour chart for illustration purposes. As an example, the market was not happy when Jerome Powell started speaking in the afternoon. This is due to the fact that Bitcoin was trading at over $43,500 when he gave his statement. About $42,000 is currently the amount. Even a cursory examination of the 24-hour data reveals a downward trend. Additionally, here is the XRP 24-hour chart. Everything that happens after midday is just a mirror image of it. This is how it's behaving. To start, this isn't some kind of XRP-centric celebration. As an example, the following was posted by XRP, an analyst and dark defender, at 12.31 p.m. Before the Federal Reserve temporarily paused interest rates again, Jerome Powell made his last words, 
but Marcus was unable to respond. It was that that was problematic. Apparently, that's a problem. From my point of view, it's not a problem. To me, it seems like a good thing. Nevertheless, the following was written by the shadowy defenders who disseminated this graph. Looking back, it's clear that he just did not have the time. Keep it in mind. He praised XRP, saying it clung to the edges and supported us affectionately. Until the terrible news broke, the whole market dropped. That isn't right at all. There is no way to know what the future holds. Curiously, the market would probably have a favorable reaction at first, rejoicing for a little time until reality set in, if we were to hear terrible news concerning rate decrease. That is not a guarantee, and I am aware of that. That is how I understand it. A continuation of the market's rising trend and the possibility of rate reduction are both theoretical possibilities. When we examine the bulk of the data, we see that this is seldom the case. But it's totally okay to talk about bigger picture stuff. Whenever it happens. As you pointed out in a previous video, the market kept going up because of the rate cuts in the 90s. But when you think about what the pandemic has done, the latest two rate decreases have had less of an impact. Reflexively, it was a move. The 2008 financial crisis was brought about by reactionary rate cuts. This seems to be different from that, obviously. I must admit, however, that I did share this after 7.25 p.m. Tonight, in a purely ironic move, I celebrated XRP reaching 49 cents by publishing a little emoticon. Whoever is being so insistent about this baffles me. I mean, I just can't help but chuckle sometimes, so you must, too, don't you? Well, I can live with it. Nonetheless, XRP is reportedly breaking out of its three-year consolidation trend, according to chart experts at Crypto Rover. And as I said earlier, it's not evident at the beginning, the XRP price can have gone up or down by the time you see the video. But it doesn't do anything. If alter my perspective on this, it will have no impact on the contents of the film that is to come. This chart demonstrating the breakdown from this exact triangle was published by attorney Bill Morgan, which made me happy since I am both a math geek and an XRP optimist. His comment on the Luna Lamborghini tagged me. Find the positive side of things as much as you can. I don't put much stock in trends when it comes to assets that are so unpredictable. Thank you for the input, I get it. Morgan, the attorney, I really appreciate it. This is the hopeful spin I presented in response. I must admit, I struggle with charts. Because of this, I feel unqualified to provide advice on chart patterns. Nevertheless, I am not scared of uncertainty. Looking at how cryptocurrency prices have fluctuated over the last 15 years leads me to believe that XRP will either be much more valuable the next time the market pumps or that I am completely incorrect on the significance of utility. As XRP hits the 24-hour milestone, everyone knows where my money was staked when XRP was 10 cents in March 2020 and $2 in April 2021, it didn't matter to me either way. High levels of volatility do not always indicate long-term success, therefore I didn't care. I am being really serious when I say that short-term price action is meaningless. It has the power to terrify or excite people to extremes. For the time being, at least. That is its limited capability in the short term. That doesn't mean XRP will hit zero or a new record high, it doesn't mean any of those things. I keep saying that this is the reason why it doesn't matter. I am able to have a decent night's sleep, because too. Trust me when I say that this is completely pointless, the whole market is moving in unison once again, broadly speaking. If Bitcoin is expected to grow dramatically, let's pretend for a moment that it will reach a new all-time high. What do you think about the future of XRP? Will it keep falling? So long as you can't disprove the significance of one of these utilities, I won't believe you. It is possible that we have misjudged the value of XRP. I still think it has a lot of real-world applications. My view is that it is great. In terms of the finances, only three cryptocurrencies in the last decade have managed to keep their market capitalizations in the top 10, and XRP is one of them. 
A number of things, in my opinion, have contributed to this. Plus, I really doubt that is important to you. The market seems to be in agreement with you if you want to hold XRP for the long term, not only until you decide to sell, but also for the prospect that it may remain there for decades. Currently, it seems that the market shares your thoughts, assuming that is really the case. There is a synchronization between the asset classes movements, but the present cryptocurrency rankings are not completely arbitrary. Throughout its existence, only three coins, Ripple, Ethereum, and Bitcoin, have remained in the top 10 most valued cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. This is it. It's too uncommon and too big, and testing on it has taken nearly a decade. So no. This is my sincere view, regardless of whether you believe it is biased. I here is my take on the matter, regardless of your opinion. Plus, I must admit that I am uncertain. I am not a chart guide. Following careful consideration of all relevant factors, I invested a substantial portion of my salary into XRP. I just believe it's worth will soar in the future, and that's why. That concludes it. Even if it hits the floor first, that's okay. I have no control over it whatsoever. I can't do anything to prevent the SEC from suing Ripple and going after all XRP holders, including the FBI. I have no control over it whatsoever. However, I am in control of my emotional responses. To start, no matter how passionately I felt about it, I would never do something like that. First, and foremost, I quite simply, I am not and I have emotionally removed myself from the problem now. I really don't give a hoot. What it really boils down to is events that will take place very soon. A person called Dan also wrote to attorney Bill Morgan and said, there is a well-known pattern for this as it is for everything. His observation that I struggle with charts is also spot on. I am unable to provide an opinion about the veracity of the cryptocurrency overhead chart shown on your computer. All it is is a well-known pattern, a trend reversal with the appearance of a symmetrical triangle. A breakout to the negative is shown here, which is more precisely a phony continuation breakout. Then it vanishes once again, leaving no trace behind. I find that rather entertaining. There are a lot of charts to choose from. Instead of nobody freaking notes, the proper word would be. Also, this is from Stockajock83 on the social networking site. Just today, X responded to my article and provided this price chart of XRP with you, which has his own symmetrical triangle. He claims that the image he is showing is really a consolidation pattern spanning three years. Before it breaks apart, he thinks it will reach 39 cents. According to him, the lines were drawn accurately as it did not break below a triangle. So, it's up to you to choose who to believe. But I'll show you whether the lines were drawn correctly or not. In my opinion, XRP will be present throughout the market frenzy. My hypothesis must be valid if I am to hold that XRP deserves to be included among the top 10 cryptocurrencies. If I'm incorrect, then something will change in terms of market capitalization. Everyone else will follow suit when I lay my wager. We'll discover it side by side. In any event, the present downturn does not point to a serious issue with XRP. Once again, the price of Bitcoin dropped after the Federal Reserve shattered hopes of a rate cut in March, as reported by Cointelegraph. Since there have been decreases in rates in the previous three cases, I find this entirely humorous once again. The macro environment was obviously different. Were we still sure, even when there were some less than ideal real life circumstances? Where does that leave temporarily halting the rates doesn't always indicate everything is bad. The market is going absolutely crazy because of this. That's really ridiculous. Still, it seems to have been the situation. Timetables are consistent. This is the speed, coincident with the US Federal Reserve's decision to maintain interest rates unchanged and reduce anticipation of a rate cut in March, Bitcoin went down in price on Wednesday. Because of this move, several market watchers are predicting trouble for Bitcoin and the US market. Yes, everyone, that is true. Because interest rates are not going down, the value of Bitcoin and stocks goes down. Regarding that, I am still not sure. Alright. 
nevertheless, refer to the first part of it. A handful of things from this piece that addressed a related topic caught my eye. This is ABC News. The anticipated rate reductions have been postponed while the Federal Reserve interest rates stay constant. The Federal Reserve maintained the present range of interest rates, 5.25% to 6.25%, as announced on Wednesday. Because of this decision, the central bank will not be able to deliver the rate cut that everyone is hoping for this year. Regrettably, the video had come to a close. The usual likes and subscribes would be much appreciated. Goodbye. See you afterwards.